Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are off to Newcastle for my first reeling gig of the year. Now today is another weird one in that it is a gig that I've also previously vlogged, just like the latest video which I hope you've been able to check out by now. This time though it's at the Willem Brewery which I believe is an old observatory but I, I might be wrong about that so I'm going to flash something up. And, and there's your answer, <laughs> right there. It is a lovely old building, and I will try and get a few more shots this time of it. I managed to get a couple of shots around the back, I think, if I remember correctly, but what a lovely building. But th the nice thing in particular about playing at this brewery is that <laughs> we are supplied with a PA, a full PA, and a sound engineer. This this never, ever happens for uh, reeling or Kaylee gigs, so this is this is quite a treat. So yeah, I'm more or less packed and good to go. So I'm just gonna start making my way down to the train station just now. Okay, made it to the first destination of the trip. Destination. There we go. We're in Perth train station. There it is. Round the cut. That's the direction there <laughs> on that line uh, for Dundee. What is Dundee? I'm, I'm traveling light too. I've got pipes and whistles in this bag and I've got the, the retro chili piper case with my name on it in case I forget my name. <laughs> Just want to say as well a big thanks to my good pal Craig Muirhead who is who let me have moved my teaching days about at school because he's my boss now as well <laughs> so I could do this trip so big thanks Craig. Now Craig is about to start running a monthly workshop for kind of improver pipers. I'm going to link it all below and maybe flash some things up on screen. He's done very well with all these kind of piping club things recently so and <laughs> is the the tutor of the year of course uh, no less so um, check that out too and thanks again to Craig. Made it to Stirling. Here it is, Stirling train station. I have ages until my train. That's my train there, London King's Cross. So I'm just having a quick bite to eat just now. My, my phone's running quite low on battery and I've not even watched the, the first episode of the new Ozark yet. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go and try and get my phone on charge and uh, chill out on this train down to Newcastle. An hour and a half on the train. So I'll maybe get some time lapsey things or, or something. And I'll, I'll see you in Newcastle in uh, just a moment. arrived in Newcastle that's the this is the train station here and here's the hotel that we're staying in tonight checked into the hotel very excited I've got a good hour before we need to uh, jump in a taxi as well so I'm gonna meet Dan the guitarist shortly but I'm gonna go in and, and dump my bags and all these things just now just for uh, a good hour I'll get an hour's break before we uh, go to work Well, here we have it, the room for this evening. There we go, like, oh yes, a superior twin, I think Jason called it. Here we go, like, we are going up in the world, Jason. Here's a quick room tour, of course. There we go, nice and bright, it's all the light in here. It's, um, it's good, this is good. And I think, uh, yeah, this is it, this is it. There we go, look. Can you see us? Oh, windows a bit. Yeah. No, that's fine. Okay, there we go. There's Newcastle. Made it to the venue. Uh, as you can tell, oh, a brewery, of course. And it smells amazing. It smells unreal. Here's uh, the stage, and there's Dan, who's on guitar this evening. Small way from Dan. That's, <laughs> uh, a disco ball, of course, because it's a gig. And here, look at this. This is the the main room. This, everyone's going to have dinner in here. And then all these tables are going to be cleared. Uh, all the wine will be consumed as well, I'm sure. And everyone will have a good time. And there's Fred, who's on drum kit again this evening. <laughs> now I've told you, mate, 
There's to be no filming in here. Oh, you turned it off. <laughs> so remember, uh, in the last vlog that was here, I was at the back, so we loaded in from the back, and that's where all the big machinery is. And I, I don't know if I'm allowed to film there. Um, so I'm just going to give it a, a quick, quick sneak peek, just in case I'm not here, it seems. The actual brew. Oh, and this, this is our teeny tiny uh, changing room with all the excellent artwork. Oh, oh, but a bit of blur on that. Uh, that's fine, that's more than acceptable, I really like saber. But uh, the wee tiny green, it looks bigger probably on the old ultra wide. Like, like oh, there you go, like, there's my shelf there. Um, yeah. Right, we're going to start sound checking and, and uh, getting things going now. So we'll um, see you after sound check. Checking after sound check. Sound check is complete, minus the fiddle player, of course, because uh, Jason is stuck somewhere on a motorway. But I was um, just before, as Fred arrived, I was, I was speaking about the, the small couple of the glitches in the matrix that are happening just now. Do you want to take the blue, blue pill, <laughs> or do you want to take the <laughs> the other naughty pill? <laughs> this is. Um, Basically, the, the, the gig, the Ned gig, that was two years ago and it was all gig vlogged and all that and it was exactly the same thing. And tonight is exactly the same. Exactly, exactly the, the same, same thing. Except this time round, this time round, there's a work in the... I mean, look at that pedal. We've got Jason the boss who's going to explain to everyone <laughs> <laughs> a, 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 a brief introduction to what reeling is. Because obviously there's Kaylee gigs, which is your Gay Gordons and your... Um, Canadian band dance, all the, all, everyone knows the Kaylee stuff, but reeling is a lot less known, isn't it? It's a lot less known. Yeah, I mean, yeah. how would I describe reeling? I'd say that it's one of these, it's one of these form, you've got, what have you got? You've got RSCDS, Royal Scottish Society mm. of Country Dance. Yeah. You've got Kaylee dancing, you've got yeah. reeling. And I think mm. uh, out of the three, I think that reeling has the kind of the right amount of required skill, to kind of like to maximize the enjoyment yeah i mean i don't know when it goes back to you i think it comes out of society dancing from the 18th century and, and mm. even beyond that yeah and you can and some of the biggest events around are things like the color the royal caledonian ball yeah uh which happens every year down in london and that was founded by the duke of athol back in the 1820s i believe maybe slightly later than that and he essentially there's a, there's a direct line from that event which has been ongoing which is a really event right back to, I think, his great uncle, who was the, the Duke of Athol of the day who hosted uh, Prince Earl, Charles Edward Stuart when he, came, when, he, when he passed south through Scotland. And there was a huge big ball held at Blair Athol Castle. Uh -huh. And um, uh, Neil Gow was the, and his brother ran the band. And uh, so, and then his son, Nathaniel Gow, took over the band. And I think it was one of his cousins one of Nathaniel's cousins, who then was the band leader for the first Royal Caledonian Ball with the then Duke of Athol. Yeah. So then you've got this continuous tradition from, the, the, from 1745 right way through to the early 19th century and the continued, continuity of this dancing tradition. Um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I think that you might keep society, society dancing, you know, society dancing, mm. essentially. So elites, the Scottish elites, the gentry, yeah. uh, the aristocracy, so that yeah. was their thing. So it started, because back in the, like, before the middle, before, the, in the 18th century, they were dancing quadrilles and French dance forms because Scotland was very Francophile and mm. continental looking. Um, but over time, those quadrilles got, got replaced. And I, I think the last vestige of that is in the force and reel, which falls on for the 18th. So that would be a kind of, like, a quadrille, really. And, um, or even, and the eight himself is four couples. So that is another vestige of the, the old kind of French tradition. Damn. I'm probably making this all up, and somebody who well, sees this is going to go, I know. Jason, you're talking absolutely, and somebody who knows the potential history of reeling, you know, well, uh, is, is, going to, is going to absolutely fill it me from top to bottom. 
You know, so that's my fantasy about yeah, what it is. That's, yeah. that's, what, that's, that's your, your take. Well, if there is someone who is uh, going to watch this video, maybe you can um, <laughs> comment below and, and let us know <laughs> how, how on the money Jason was with that. That's perfect. That's, that's absolutely perfect. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. My pleasure, Kyle. <laughs> Looking forward to the gig. Right, thanks very much, Jason, for that little uh, bit of chat there about the, the reeling, what it's all about and all that. So uh, now time to get changed and crack on with the gig. So what I'll do now is I'll just start throwing up some classic gig shots and I'll um, I'll check back in when we get back to the hotel at hopefully no later than 2am. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <laughs> Done, the gig is complete. Uh, people are now starting to head off. We're going to start packing up. When I say pack up, what I mean is uh, Fred's going to put his drum kit away and that's it because we were supplied a PA with a sound engineer. So I think like, he's, he's filming me doing the vlog. <laughs> Made it back to the hotel for some sleep. This is going to be well used back tonight. Oh. Hello? Well, that was a, almost a very exciting way to end the, the night last night. So that was, I think that was about half one, quarter to one in the morning, that, that last wee clip there. I'm going to go by the window with a better light here. <laughs> and uh, um, basically the guy in the front desk was uh, getting himself confused, uh, we think. Um, he was trying to put us into a different room at half one in the morning, uh, claiming we were in the wrong room. But we weren't. This, this, this was our glorious, super, superior twin for the night. But, yeah, the guy got confused. That caused a, a phone call and threw off the vlog for the rest of last night. But but that's it. That's it. We're, we're done now. Um, we've had breakfast and we're about to... Um, we're all passing ways. Dan's going up the road. Fred has just left. Uh, and myself and Jason are going to go and get a wee coffee and then, then I'm going to get on my train back to Perth. So yeah, that's it. Another gig. And another gig vlog. Uh, very exciting to be back doing that. I'm very pleased to be doing them again, actually. Um, good things to look back on. And um, I hope you all find this um, relatively, um, kind of, I don't know, get a bit of insight to what goes on <laughs> um, with my, my stuff, all my gigs that I do. So yeah, um, I'll see you in the next video, which will be next weekend. An excellent gig next weekend. I'm not going to tell you. I, I'm not going to tell you any more about it. You're just going to have to tune in because it's going to be a, a, a brilliant gig. So yes, I'll see you in the next video.